Welcome to Electron Online, and now let's take a look and see what the interference pattern looks like when we have three slits. So here we have a three slit situation. Monochromatic light is entering the three slits, and of course at different places on the screen, the various rays will have traveled different distances. This ray will have traveled extra distance here. This ray will have traveled additional extra distance there, and because the three phasers then come together and they will be out of phase when we get there, there will be what we call destructive interference if the extra path length is equal to a half a wavelength and constructive interference when the extra distance travel is equal to a full wavelength. So what we have here is we have a pattern that now looks like this. An easy way to figure out where the maximum and where the minimum points are can be done by taking the minimum points, can be found by taking a full phase 360 degrees and divided by the number of slits, so 360 divided by 3 gives you 120, and then if we double that to 240, those will be the two places where we find the minimum, about 120 degrees phase difference and a 240 degree phase difference, and this is associated with two adjacent phasers. And you can see that here when you take a look at it, if you have a 120 degree phase shift and another 120 degree phase shift, that the three phases added together add up to a total of zero, and that's why you have a, a, a minimum right there where the intensity will be zero, and when you take 240 degrees, you have the same situation, and you'll get zero again. When they're all lined up, of course, in the same phase, or when the phase difference is a full phase, a full wavelength, then, of course, add up to three times the maximum value for each individual phaser. And since the intensity is equal to the electric field oscillation squared, the intensity then would be nine times the intensity of a single phase. So that's why the ratio I divided by I sub naught, in this case, will be equal to nine. Now, here we have kind of like a, a maximum, but not quite a full maximum. The reason there is when the phase difference is 180 degrees, and we can find that by using the 360 divided by n minus 1. So 360 divided by 2 is 180. So we find a maximum at 180, and we find another maximum at 360. The 360 is a full maximum, because then they're all lined up in the same phase direction. But at 180 degrees, notice that the first phase will point to the right, the second phase will point to the left, and the third phase will point to the right again. They add up to a 1 E sub naught, so the three phases together like that add up to the maximum of one phaser, and so therefore the intensity will be 1 squared, or 1 times the intensity of, the, um, of a single beam right there. And so that's indicated by this small maximum right there. Uh, another way we can find the value for that is by going ahead and doing this calculation right here. So we take this calculation, we take the sine of the number of uh, the number of slits times the phase angle divided by two. So 180 degrees. So we take uh, right here 180 degrees divided by two times three. Take the sine of that and divide that by the sine of the phase angle divided by two. Take the whole thing quantity squared, this will end up being 1, 1 times I sub naught will simply be I sub naught, that will be the partial maximum right there. And that's how a phase diagram looks like when we have three slits. Notice that they're lined up the same as the two slit situation right there, except of course the intensity will be larger and, I, and the beam width will be narrower. <clears throat> And uh, that's, of course, the case only if the, sl the slit separation D is the same for n equals 2 and n equals 3. And that's how we do that.